where the church is there is the spirit and where the spirit of god is there is the church friends today's gospel reading speaks about the sending forth of the apostles while he was sending them out the gospel says that jesus gave them power and authority over all demons to cure diseases and to proclaim the kingdom of god he gave them power and authority very often we read through these verses of power and authority to heal to cast out demons and to raise the dead etc without giving many thoughts to it We certainly believe that Jesus gave his authority to his disciples. However, we do not dare to assume such power and authority in us. Unfortunately, for many of us, these gifts of Jesus are not a contemporary reality. In the River Jordan, at the baptism, Jesus received the Holy Spirit as a personal endowment. Besides, this anointing by the Holy Spirit gave him the power and authority to fulfill his mission. The church which Jesus founded is an extension of Jesus. That is why the church is called a sacrament of Christ. If the church is an extension of Christ, then the church is also an extension of his anointing by the Spirit. If it is so, then the same anointing which Jesus received is extended to the church in equal measure. If the church is effective in her sacramental life and her evangelization, and if the lives are still being transformed it is because the same anointing is extended to the church the holy spirit who is being given to the whole church comes to visibility in her external ministries of course when we cooperate with the holy spirit he brings in us an inward perfection at the same time the same holy spirit moves outwardly in different ways to build up the church and that we call the charisms saint irenaeus said where the church is there is the spirit and where the spirit of god is there is the church the decisive moment in the life of a christian is the reception of this spirit in baptism the early church expected that the power of the spirit would come visibly along the full spectrum of his charisms in the community The manifestations of the spirit in charisms after baptism was the new normal in the life of the early Christians. The church even today share in the same anointing that Jesus received. However, our Christian communities and ministries are not always animated by such a full spectrum of gifts of the spirit by which the early church was animated. Why is it that we do not experience this power and authority? Why is it that we consider casting out demons, healing the sick, etc. as not possible in our Christian life and ministries of most people? It is because the contemporary church is different from the early church in her awareness, expectation and openness. The early church was aware of the unlimited expanse of gifts and power and the unlimited possibilities of ministries and services. which the spirit could offer the early church was not only aware of the vast expanse of these gifts but also expected them to visibly appear they were aware that the prophecy gifts of healing working of miracles tongues and interpretations exorcism were real charisms real possibilities for the life of the church not some distant realities they were aware of these gifts they expected them to manifest and they were open to them so these gifts were operating in them unfortunately we are not fully aware of the wondrous and powerful gifts that are extended to the church in the power of the spirit we do not expect the charisms to be operative in us and among us and we are not fully open to them this limited awareness expectation and openness profoundly affect the life and experience of our communities it also affects our participation in the life giving and power giving sacramental worship jesus gave them power and authority the same power and authority are given to us too for this to be a reality in us we must experience jesus as personal presence 
and the Holy Spirit as power. We must earnestly seek to know and understand the unlimited ways in which the Holy Spirit works. We must have a deep desire and strong expectation that these gifts will manifest and we must be completely open for the manifestation of these gifts of the Spirit. After receiving the power and authority from Jesus, the disciples went through the villages, preaching the gospel and healing everywhere. They saw the power and authority becoming real in their Christian mission. How true and authentic our mission as Christians would be if these gifts were real in us too. How great would be the Christian living and preaching if he could experience the full spectrum of the supernatural gifts which God generously pours out on us. Let us earnestly desire for a personal renewal.